and welcome back to finally more Vista Quest Pocket. I'm Buppix, and I actually think this level is fairly boring. Especially when for some reason you're moving slower than you're supposed to be. Apparently this only happens with me. It doesn't happen with other people. Maybe it just doesn't like me. And we go off this way, you can go through this wall. Card. It's a little uneven going into that wall, so you have to jump. And I don't know how that's being held up by tiny little twigs, but whatever. Those crickets can easily hide in the grass. Down there and off to the right is a secret power-up, which lets you cling to walls and wall jumping. And up there's the V-coin. Pretty easy V-coin to get. If you don't like the wall cleaning up the claws, you can turn it off. Come on, drop down there. And just climb back up here to go off to the right. Going at it from the top, because from the top it's easier to get to this part. But not only is there a bunch of coins, but there is the second card level. And the final card from level. Checkpoint and where you'd come out if you took the bottom path. Which is really just running across the red blocks. Didn't need to be that careful with the fire spitters. Also didn't need to go up this way. But you do need to go up. Because there is the gray switch. Or a gray switch. Now, fairly simple. Just go to the right. I am so good at this commentary. And no! I missed all the coins. And I like it matters. I wonder if those are actually spikes and not just party hats and they want to throw me a party but they're too shy to ask me. And so I end up killing them. It really makes their existence more tragic. Or pathetic. Well, that level's done. And time to go on to the next one. Which was actually one of the hardest levels so far the first time I played it. Yes, brambles, like Donkey Kong Country 2. First, jump off over this way. And there's the... Getting out is kind of hard without dying, but if you die, hey, you already got the coin, so it doesn't matter. Precision Jumps is the name of the game in these stages. And there's crickets. Go away, crickets. And unnecessarily explained slowdown, which killed me a lot when trying to record this. That jump is surprisingly difficult to make sometimes. It'd be so much easier if it wasn't for that stupid slowdown stuff. Watch for the fire spit so you don't accidentally jump into those. I don't know why I went to get the coins, I really don't. Because I died. Thank you, random slowdown. This way. I believe this is the first instance of wall jumping between things that can kill you. I might be wrong. This is the first instance in the main levels. You just go up this way and down there's the end of the level if you want, but jump over for the collar. And some coins. Coin. Coin. And exit. With unexplained uncovered brambles. And I just have a flat platform across the lab. Brambles. 
Bet you can't guess what the gimmick of this stage is. That's right, it's grass that did me skin high. Also those. Fairly simple at first. In fact, this entire level is fairly simple. Sometimes you might need to jump on him to make him go. Assassinate you with my yo-yo. Because that's the, uh, not coming sequel to Vista Quest spin-off thing. Yo-yo Assassin. And... Checkpoint. But I don't need Mr. Checkpoint. If you want to get the V-Coin, you're going to have to step on that platform. If you don't care about the V-Coin or just speedrunning, then hey, ignore that platform. It doesn't matter. And that one's dead to us. If you have problems with these jumps here, just ball jump. Be careful not to lose your platform. We will not return it to you if you do. Feel free to abandon them once they're useless, though. And now just ride this thing out. And not style it. Be going. And in. Pretty easy level. But now, this level took me forever to find the beacon. First, jump off this road. More careful jumping. Off to the right somewhere here, you can find a red switch, which can get you an item later on in the stage if you don't die. First, go down here. Yeah, 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 jump across gray blocks. As you can see up there is a V-Coin. Yeah, this took me so long to figure out what to do there. Why else would I expect to do a leap of faith? Spike Snake, get out of my way. As you can probably tell, those blue blocks you can only stand on for a short time before they disappear. This way. Checkpoint. And I died because I screwed up. Go away, Spike Snake. Screwed up a jump here. If you hit the red switch and didn't die, you can go that way for an item. It's this little amulet coin that I believe increases the amount of points coins are worth. I might be wrong. Make sure to kill that guy before you do a wall jump. Very, very tight jumps here. Fortunately or unfortunately, this is the last Bramble stage in the game. So if you liked it, well, too bad there's no more. But now we're going on to the final level of this world, excluding the secret level, Pretzubo's Castle. Retsubo is a recurring character or boss in many games made by Six. He's the third boss of the first Vista Quest. He appears as a robot in Vista Quest 2 as Retsurobo. Go up here for a card. And a thing similar to Retsurobo makes an appearance as a mini boss in the upcoming War Girl. Retsubo also makes an appearance in the mini game, The Final Boss, as well as being the icon. Yeah, the game's icon. Firebars, why are there so many of them? As you can see, well, there is a little alcove. Climb up this way, there's the V-Coin. Why are there firebars bars in the jungle stage? Doesn't that burn the place down? I guess the blocks aren't made out of jungle, but it's the principle of the thing. But the thing remains the same is that nobody likes you fireball. 
Make sure to ride this up until you see those spikes, otherwise you probably can't make that jump. And I died. Obviously. This way I get rid of you. Make sure to go at the right time. Make lots of little tight jumps. Oh, messed that up. Don't know why that didn't kill me, but there's a second car. Now here, just run left and right when you can. Pretty easy. Another one of this thing. That used to be a pit, it wasn't blocked over. There's nothing down there, so... Yeah. This up. And checkpoint for the boss. Alright, let's do this. Boo! And here's Brett's go. If you all jump at the star, you can get out some free hits. Alright, good luck. I actually think he's the easiest boss in the game. Be careful where you're standing, because you might pop up underneath you, which will kill you. Like what almost happened there. Bad, 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 bad. That wasn't nice for us, bro. Come on. Dang it. Ah. If I didn't screwed up, I could probably kill him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's it for Retsubo and this part of Let's Play Vista Quest Pocket. I'm Puppix, so I'll see you whenever I decide to continue this next. Or more likely on my next Kirby part. I'll see you whenever those are. Bye.